Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a perplexing and frankly, quite unfair phenomenon that occurs when dealing with a narcissist. Particularly, we're focusing on what happens when you decide to implement a no-contact strategy after they have chosen to discard you from their life. It's a situation that, on the surface, seems to defy logic and fairness. Narcissists exhibit a peculiar reaction when you choose to go no contact after they've discarded you. This reaction is not only counterintuitive, but also feels deeply unjust. It's as though the narcissist desires to have total control over the dynamics of your relationship. They seem to think it's within their rights to discard you, effectively deciding they no longer want you in their life. However, paradoxically, they also seek to dictate the conditions under which you remain apart. The expectation from them is that you continue to pursue them, that you refrain from moving on, and that you do not find joy or success, whether in your personal projects, endeavors, or through relationships with others. They aim to keep a watchful eye on you, monitoring your every move. But when we pause to reflect on this, it begs the question, how is this fair? Why would a narcissist feel entitled to not only push you away in such a harsh manner, but also to exert control over you after they've discarded you? The answer lies in the narcissist's profound sense of entitlement. Narcissists often believe they possess ownership over people. They feel they have the right to control others, even when those individuals are no longer an active part of their lives. This entitlement becomes particularly evident when a narcissist decides to discard someone. This decision is typically made because the narcissist concludes they no longer have a use for the person. Often, this realization comes after a prolonged period of devaluation, during which the victim's ability to cater to the narcissist's needs diminishes significantly. After being devalued for an extended period, individuals may find themselves feeling like mere shadows of their former selves, unable to provide the narcissist with what they seek. This is usually the point at which the narcissist decides to discard them, having depleted them of their usefulness. However, even after discarding someone, Narcissists derive a twisted form of satisfaction from knowing that the discarded individual is not moving on or thriving. This forms a kind of negative supply that the narcissist relies on. The idea that their discarded victim is still entangled in the aftermath, struggling and not finding happiness, continues to feed the narcissist's need for control and superiority. Choosing to go no contact with a narcissist is a profound step. It signifies a moment when you come to the realization that you refuse to play the role the narcissist expects of you. You decide not to feed their ego or make them feel good about themselves, especially not after they've chosen to discard you. This decision means you won't provide them with any proof of your need for them. Instead, you choose to focus on your own growth and healing, gradually letting thoughts of them fade away. Most importantly, you decide not to share any glimpses into your life with them embracing your independence and moving forward. Adopting this approach, moving on in a manner that prioritizes your well-being after being discarded, can be incredibly challenging for the narcissist to accept. They find themselves deprived of the attention and control they once exerted over you. The realization that you are not wallowing in misery, that you are beyond their reach and no longer under their influence, can be utterly devastating to them. This reaction is quite counterintuitive to many people. The idea that someone could be so affected by another person's choice to heal and detach is difficult for many to comprehend. The complexity of these emotions and the dynamics at play can be overwhelming. Yet, one of the more perplexing aspects of this situation is that many individuals, shortly after the breakup, find themselves wanting the narcissist back in their lives. This longing can persist until they genuinely begin the process of moving on. As time passes and they start to think less about the narcissist, focusing more on their own lives, something significant occurs. It is precisely when they start to emotionally detach, when they begin to navigate the early stages of healing from this dependency, that the narcissist often attempts to re-enter their lives through a maneuver known as a hoover. A hoover is an attempt by the narcissist to reassert their presence and control in your life, often under the guise of reconciliation or concern. This usually happens just when you've started to find your footing again, making it a critical moment. The timing is no coincidence, narcissists have a keen sense for when their influence is waning, and they employ tactics to reassert control or rekindle the relationship, primarily for their benefit. 
When you begin the process of moving on from a narcissist, but haven't completely freed yourself from their influence, this is often when they sense vulnerability and attempt to re-enter your life. This timing is crucial for them because it's at this juncture they feel most at risk of losing you permanently. Narcissists have a deep aversion to losing anyone who has served as a source of attention and admiration for them, which is why they often keep a roster of past relationships they can cyclically return to. Essentially, after they discard you, there might be a period of silence, which can last from several months to even years, especially if they believe you are profoundly devastated by their departure. However, the moment they perceive signs of your recovery and detachment, they often reappear, initiating contact under the guise of benign concern. They might reach out to see how you're doing, suggest meeting up, or employ emotional appeals to stir up old feelings. This strategy is designed to make you reconsider their significance in your life. Engaging with them during this phase can unfortunately lead to what feels like a regression in your healing process. If you were making strides and moving on, this reconnection can cause a setback, dragging you back to a state of emotional dependence you worked hard to overcome. Narcissists are adept at managing their supply of people, some refer to this as keeping a harem garage. This metaphor suggests they have a collection of individuals they periodically engage with, not necessarily with the intention of rekindling a genuine relationship, but rather to reaffirm their control and influence over these individuals. Even if there's no sincere desire on their part to resume the relationship once they've discarded you, they might still hoover you back into their sphere of influence. This maneuver serves to reignite your longing for them, allowing them to temporarily satiate their need for attention and validation before they detach again. This cycle enables the narcissist to maintain a sense of superiority and control. By inducing a relapse of your feelings for them, they secure a psychological upper hand. They relish in the knowledge that they've managed to rekindle your interest, even as they have no genuine intention of committing to a sincere relationship. This process is a way for them to win in their minds, reinforcing their perceived dominance in the relationship dynamic. It's a manipulative tactic that not only serves to boost their ego but also keeps you entangled in a cycle of hope and disappointment, making it challenging to fully move on and reclaim your independence. When you make the decisive choice to go no contact with a narcissist, and importantly, maintain that stance, it prompts a significant shift in the narcissist's perspective. Suddenly, they find themselves unable to hoover you back into their sphere of influence or even casually check in on you. This lack of access and information about your life puts them in an uncomfortable position. They're accustomed to monitoring you, ensuring they remain a constant presence in your thoughts, especially after they've decided to discard you. When this continuous stream of influence and control is interrupted, it leaves them feeling unsettled and, to some extent, defeated. This unease stems from their inability to maintain the status quo, where they could effortlessly keep track of your emotional state and manipulate it to their advantage. The realization that they are losing their grip on you, that they might permanently lose you as a source of supply, triggers a sense of urgency within them. It's not that they have a genuine concern for your well-being or miss your presence in their life out of affection. Rather, they miss the affirmation, attention, and admiration you provided. Your absence creates a void that they are desperate to fill. Faced with this dilemma, narcissists begin to devise strategies to re-establish contact. Their primary motive isn't reconciliation or repairing the relationship, but reclaiming their control and ensuring you remain an available source of narcissistic supply. The thought of you moving on, possibly finding happiness or success without them, is intolerable. Narcissists are inherently competitive and always want to feel superior. The possibility that you might be thriving, or simply doing better in their absence, challenges their self-perceived superiority. This notion is not just unsettling for them, it's almost unbearable. Their competitive nature doesn't allow them to accept that you could be better off without them. They cannot stand the idea of you one-upping them in any aspect of life. This is why maintaining no contact can be such a powerful strategy. It not only aids in your healing process, but also disrupts the narcissist's expectation of perpetual dominance and control over you. When you're discarded by a narcissist and choose to implement the no-contact rule, steadfastly adhering to it, you inadvertently set off a profound psychological challenge for them. 
In this scenario, it doesn't take much time before the narcissist begins to experience a tumultuous mental roller coaster. They find themselves in a desperate need to reinsert themselves into your life, if for no other reason than to simply gauge where you stand and to reignite your desire for them. However, by not allowing them any room to gather information or to convince themselves that they're still outperforming you in life, you effectively begin to occupy space in their minds without paying any rent, so to speak. This state of affairs can become quite unsettling for the narcissist. As time goes on, their obsessive pondering over the situation intensifies to the point where they feel compelled to take action. This compulsion stems from the realization that they no longer hold sway over you, that their peace and perceived stability are being eroded. By maintaining no contact after being discarded, you disrupt their sense of control and superiority. It's a vivid demonstration that perhaps they're not winning, that you might indeed be moving on without them. This possibility is intolerable for a narcissist, as their ego cannot fathom being in a position where they are not seen as superior. Their response to this threat to their ego can lead them down a path of erratic thought patterns and behaviors. Deprived of their usual manipulative tools and strategies, they may find themselves grappling with a loss of identity and purpose. This unsettling realization that they might not always come out on top, that you are capable of thriving without their presence, can drive them to the brink of feeling insane. In essence, the act of going no contact after being discarded is not just a step towards your healing, it's an act of reclaiming your power and demonstrating to the narcissist that their influence over you is not infinite. It's a powerful statement that you are moving forward, with or without their approval. Thank you for watching this discussion. If you found it insightful or if it resonated with your experiences, please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Your engagement helps spread awareness and can offer support to others navigating similar challenges.